In this video, we're going to talk about the save and load capability on the RTB2000. Um, there's a couple ways to get to it. First, you have, of course, a button on the front panel that you can hit that says save and load. Um, you can also go in under the menu system and scroll to file. And when you click on file, you're going to get a bunch of different options. And so um, clearly setup is an area that you can save different setups. We'll go on that in a second. This is for your reference waveforms, which can also be turned on via a button down here and reloaded. Um, when it comes to actual waveforms themselves, so you can save the data off in a number of different ways from CSV files um, to bin files, text files, etc. You can say exactly what you want to save, whether it's the display data. Um, it'll even tell you how many points or samples you're going to save, the approximate file size, the amount of time that it might take, um, that type of thing. So pretty powerful. Um, of course, you have to have a USB drive plugged in to be able to save that off. When it comes to screenshots, Similar uh, capability, so again, you can save to the USB drive that you've inserted. Um, it'll auto increment on the name, so you can change the file names. And this is one of the things that I love about the RTB2000, which it, with its touchscreen is you can come in and using the touchscreen, you can enter the exact name that you want. Um, and you know, there's no using a knob to scroll, that type of thing, so it makes it very easy. And of course, you can also plug in a keyboard and use that too. Um, you can save equation sets. Uh, one touch is a really powerful capability that I like. And so when you turn one touch on, it turns this little camera button into a kind of save setup where you can tell it, I want you to save any number of things. And so in this case, we might save just a setup file and say a bus table, or you might want to save everything. Um, and so it'll actually save all that automatically with one push. And so when you're doing documentation, that's a really powerful capability. Um, to be able to have that done simply with one uh, one touch, as it implies. Let's go back to the setup. Um, again, you can save and load setups. Uh, you can save those to internal memory. It'll tell you how much memory you have by clicking here. Um, what I really like is when you click load, one of the cool things is for setups that you've saved, I'm a pretty visual person, so I like to be able to see an image of what my um, setup looked like, and that'll help me remember maybe more so than what the name actually was. Now, of course, if you don't want to look at it um, as a file view, you can change that to details and get the detailed information, um, both by date and the name, etc. But again, I'm very much a visual person. I like the icons. I like to be able to see those.